as an experiment. Let's imagine our digital age as the modern counterpart of ancient Mesopotamia, a civilization that was born millennia ago. Mesopotamia left us an incredible repository of human knowledge and creativity. They carved their wisdom into clay tablets, enduring artifacts that have survived the ravages of time and now provide insights into a world long past. Among their contributions is the instructions of Shurapak, an ancient text inscribed around 2600 BCE filled with proverbial wisdom. Arguably more famous is the Epic of Gilgamesh, an epic poem from ancient Mesopotamia. Despite the passage of over 4,000 years, these works have endured, allowing us to understand the worldviews and insights of our ancestors in extraordinary detail. Now consider our era. We too have our repository of knowledge and creativity, our internet. Yet, unlike the durable clay of ancient times, our web pages and hyperlinks, our modern tablets, are far more susceptible to decay. Some of our digital content can barely survive a decade, let alone millennia. As we share our wisdom, creativity, and knowledge, it's evaporating at an unprecedented rate, subject to the unrelenting force of digital decay or link rot. This Reality raises a sobering question. Thousands of years from now, what will remain of our culture, our knowledge, and our stories? Will our epoch be remembered as a digital dark age, a time where data and information disappeared into nothingness? Or will we find ways to preserve our wisdom, to ensure that our epics of Gilgamesh stand the test of time? We are at a unique juncture in human history, where the information we generate is both colossal in volume and temporal in nature. The challenge of our digital era isn't just about creation and innovation, it's also about preservation, about ensuring that our creations don't vanish, lost to future generations. The internet started as a vast, uncharted digital frontier, a sea of potential for innovation, opportunity, and connection. In the early days, it was an exciting new world, a platform for people to explore, create, and connect in ways that were once unimaginable. This period of rapid evolution and expansion saw the birth of services we now take for granted, email, search engines, and e-commerce platforms. The social media revolution was a critical part of this growth. Platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit became popular venues for sharing ideas, disseminating information, and expressing human experiences on a global scale. They revolutionized communication, enabling conversations that crossed borders and broke down cultural barriers, opening up opportunities for individuals and businesses alike. However, like any technological evolution, the landscape of the internet has inevitably changed over time. The explosive growth of these platforms has slowed as the market matured, and challenges have emerged that affect user engagement and loyalty. In this ever-evolving landscape, a subtle yet impactful phenomenon is playing out. Data is dying. Link rot, as it's called, is eroding the information fabric on the internet, making once accessible data unreachable. It's the digital world's equivalent of a building decaying over time, with pieces gradually crumbling away until only the skeletal structure remains. Digital decay is more than a technical issue. It's a harsh reality that profoundly affects our online experience. For example, you might remember trying to find an old blog post only to be met with a 404 error page. That's link rot in action, or perhaps you've clicked on a reference link in an academic article, hoping to delve deeper into the research, only to find the page no longer exists. That too is the work of link rot, quietly erasing portions of our collective digital knowledge base. An excellent example of this phenomenon is the Million Dollar Homepage, a relic from the early days of the internet. In an innovative scheme, the creator sold advertising space pixel by pixel, resulting in a mosaic of 2,860 16 embedded links. Over a decade later, only about two-thirds of these links remain functional. A total of 547 links now lead to the dreaded page not found error message, and 489 more direct users to completely different domains or domain resale portals. Many of the remaining functional links now lead to domains that are either up for sale or stripped of all content. This digital erosion does not discriminate. Major institutions such as the Harvard Law Review, 
the New York Times, and even the Supreme Court have fallen prey to its effects. These entities rely heavily on the internet to disseminate information and create lasting records. However, link rot erodes the reliability of these digital resources over time. When they cite online sources in articles, opinions, or reviews, they create hyperlinks to the original content, allowing readers to delve deeper into the topic. Over time, these links can become broken or outdated due to the various reasons, such as changes to the website structure or URL, or the websites going offline altogether. This results in readers being led to dead ends, error messages or entirely different content, rather than the original intended resources. This not only disrupts the flow of information, but can also lead to confusion and misinformation. Given the vital role these institutions play in academia, journalism and law, the impact of link rot can be far-reaching. It can degrade the integrity of the work and lead to a loss of historical and scholarly data. This can be especially problematic for legal and academic research that relies on precedent and historical accuracy. Indeed, as we grapple with the issue of digital decay, it's encouraging to see initiatives like Perma.cc springing into action. Developed by the Library Innovation Lab at Harvard Law School, Perma.cc offers a glimmer of hope. The tool is designed to create an archive snapshot of a specific web page at a given moment in time. This snapshot, or freeze, results in a permanent record that remains accessible, even when the live web page changes or goes offline. Interestingly, this solution provides a vital lifeline in the preservation of digital data and could offer much needed resilience in the face of digital decay. It's an especially pertinent solution when we consider platforms like Reddit, which stand as a vibrant microcosm of the internet at large. Reddit's current predicament, triggered by its decision to change for API access, offers a distinctive perspective on wider digital challenges. This move risks alienating both developers and users, highlighting a broader issue of digital decay where digital data disappears over time. Reddit's situation combines immediate platform-specific issues with overarching digital dilemmas. These complexities go beyond the economics of data access or management of online communities. They make us question how to preserve our expanding digital legacy. Initiatives like Perma.cc give us hope that these challenges are surmountable. The ongoing Reddit strike reveals a paradox many digital platforms face, a heavy resilience on volunteer labor for success. Reddit's diverse, active communities have drawn advertisers, making Reddit a monetizable platform. Yet, the strike could affect immediate revenue and its upcoming public offering, challenging Reddit's business model. The significant contribution of Reddit's volunteer moderators, equaling millions in annual labor, is an asset that can't be easily replaced, posing a threat to its profitability. Reddit's decision to change for API access has caused protests among developers and users. APIs allow developers to utilize Reddit's vast data resources for apps that enhance user experience. However, imposing high usage costs alarmed many developers, especially smaller ones, who fear the fees could be prohibitive. The impact of this decision could reach beyond developers to the user base. If protests escalate and users abandon the site, it may encounter digital decay. User data, though not immediately deleted, might decline in accessibility over time, similar to link rot, where hyperlinks become obsolete as target web pages change or get deleted. A long-lasting strike could lead to a less vibrant Reddit, as the platform's ecosystems rely heavily on user-generated content and community moderation. The strike could trigger complications like reputational damage, potential revenue loss, and a decrease in market share. Reddit's handling of the situation could set a precedent for other platforms relying on API usage and community moderation. Addressing internet link rot requires a collective approach, including technological solutions, archiving initiatives, and rethinking data storage. Despite tech advances, digital storage can become unreadable in years. Archivists face the challenge of dealing with fast amounts of continuously generated information. Institutes like the University of Basel's Data and Service Center for Humanities are developing software for future data readability, but resources are limited, and data formats keep changing. For example, NASA struggled to read its Apollo-era lunar dust data due to obsolete equipment. Software's limited lifespan means older files might become unreadable with newer software versions. Efforts to future-proof software face obstacles like licensing issues. Efforts to ensure knowledge longevity have seen mixed results, with the Internet Archive battling a lawsuit and the text 
encoding initiative maintaining text encoding standards since the 90s, yet no definitive mandate exists on a long-term data storage. A similar scenario is unfolding in another major social media platform, Twitter. According to a forecast, Twitter is predicted to lose over 30 million users in the next two years due to rising concerns about technical issues and the spread of offensive content. It seems that as these online communities evolve, users are finding the platforms less appealing, resulting in a gradual decline in user engagement. The decline in Twitter's users might seem unrelated to our earlier discussion about Reddit and link rot. However, these situations share a common thread. The question of what happens to data when users leave or when platforms undergo significant changes. Elon Musk's stewardship of Twitter illuminates this digital decay further. User engagement is crucial to social media platforms, generating data for insights, advertising and more. Yet, a continuous series of disruptions, coupled with technical faults, has begun to erode Twitter's user base, reducing the steady stream of data these platforms thrive on. An 8% drop in web traffic, a decrease in active users and high-profile departures of top brands. These aren't just statistics, they symbolize a shrinking digital ecosystem, an online space suffering from data decay akin to a web page succumbing to link rot, a privacy breaches incident like Twitter circles, where tweets intended for a selected audience were made public, further highlights data integrity issues, potentially accelerating user attrition and subsequent data loss. Twitter's CEO, Elon Musk, announced plans to delete accounts that have been inactive for several years to free up abandoned handles. This action mirrors Twitter's policy that requires users to log into their account at least once every 30 days to prevent permanent removal due to the prolonged inactivity. Much like the Reddit blackout, where content may potentially be lost if the protest results in permanent community closures, Twitter's purging of inactive accounts also leads to data loss. As these inactive or deleted accounts disappear, so does the data associated with them, contributing to a form of digital decay or data rot. Both Reddit and Twitter's situations draw attention to the wider challenge of preserving digital data. As users leave platforms, whether due to protest or inactivity, their data also vanishes. It underlines the transient nature of digital content and the importance of finding solutions to prevent data from rotting away. Whether it's through tools like perma.cc, which creates archived versions of web pages, or other preservation strategies, it's clear that this is a crucial issue that the digital world needs to address. Let's look at Imager, an image hosting platform favoured by millions of internet users worldwide. Its ease of use and democratic accessibility have allowed it to become an essential part of the internet's fabric, spreading information and entertainment alike. Yet, its recent changes in terms of service have made us confront an unnerving possibility. What happens when online data dies? Imager's new policy, focusing on eliminating old, unused and inactive content that is not tied to a user account, seems pragmatic on the surface. The driving forces behind this decision, efficiency, bandwidth and server space, are typical factors any tech company must grapple with. They're operating in a digital world where resources, while vast, are not infinite. Streamlining their operations by removing what might seem like digital detritus is an understandable move. However, we must consider that the reach of this policy goes beyond mere technical or business realms and seeps into social and cultural ones, raising concerns that are more complex and far-reaching. Imgur, for many users, has served as more than just an image hosting site. It has been a digital time capsule, a massive online repository where a vast range of content has been stored. These digital fragments, spanning from humour-filled memes to comprehensive guides, have painted a diverse and rich tableau of our collective online journey. This repository can be likened to a digital library of Alexandria, an embodiment of shared human knowledge and experience. The impending purge puts this digital chronicle in peril. We stand to lose not just the light-hearted or contentious content, but also a myriad of valuable educational resources that may not have been accessed recently, but still hold immense value. The knock-on effect of this policy is daunting. It isn't confined to the users directly interacting with Imgur, but reverberates through the wider web ecosystem. Numerous platforms, websites, blogs, forums, to name a few, have been heavily reliant on Imgur for image embedding and linking. This reliance means that the blow from the purge will land far from where the initial punch was thrown. Links, once leading to rich content, will now open up to desolate voids. Images previously embedded and enhancing the narrative, will simply vanish, leaving behind blank spaces. This, in essence, threatens to tear the fabric of the interconnected web of 
online information. The ripple effect of this decision is immerse. It's not limited to the direct users of Imgur, but extends to countless websites, blogs, and forums. These platforms, which have relied on Imgur for image embedding and linking, will bear the brunt of this purge. Links will lead to voids, embedded images will vanish, and the interconnected web of online information will start to unravel. A similar upheaval is underway at Google, the tech giant that shapes much of our online experiences. Their updated inactivity policy threatens to delete accounts that haven't seen users for two years, wiping clean the associated data. Google's reasoning revolves around security measures that abandoned accounts tend to lack updated passwords or two-factor authentication, rendering them vulnerable to hacking and misuse. This sweeping change extends beyond mere email accounts. Google's vast product ecosystem, encompassing everything from cloud productivity tools to photo storage services, falls under this policy. This means that the myriad of photos backed up from your Android device, stored in some forgotten corner of Google's cloud, now teeters on the edge of extinction. If we weave these narratives from Imgur, Reddit, Twitter, and Google together, we stumble upon a shared theme. The digital data we create, interact with, or even depend on is surprisingly transient. For years, we've held on to the confronting notion that the internet immortalizes data. However, these recent developments serve as stark reminders of our digital data's ephemeral nature. The dynamic digital ecosystem we've become so dependent on is as mutable and transient as the world it reflects. Whether we're dealing with significant policy shifts from tech powerhouses like Google or Imgur, or grappling with the turmoil of managing platforms like Twitter, the ceaseless generation, interchange, and expiry of data carve out a digital life cycle. This life cycle is constantly in flux, compelling both users and organizations to perpetually adjust, reevaluate, and redesign their online conduct and data handling strategies. As we traverse this digital terrain, it's essential to acknowledge the data, like everything else, experience a life cycle. It has the capacity to grow, transform, evolve, and indeed, even perish. With this understanding, we should endeavor to manage our digital footprints conscientiously, bearing in mind that our contributions to this expanse digital repository may not be as everlasting as we'd like. Our narrative, therefore, revolves around digital impermanence, the necessity for prudent data stewardship, and the incessant evolution of the online realm. In contemplating our digital environment and the looming danger of link rot, our objectives must extend beyond mere creation and innovation. We should also prioritize preservation, combating digital decay to prevent our contemporary sagas from slipping into obscurity. In doing this, we protect our epoch's contribution to the annual of human knowledge and culture, ensuring that our digital impressions stand the test of time, enduring for generations to come. To close, the battle against data rot is a critical facet of our evolving digital existence. As we continue to create and store information in vast quantities, we must remain vigilant in our efforts to protect and preserve it. Data like the civilizations of old can fade away without careful stewardship. The challenge lies not only in generating and storing data, but ensuring its future accessibility and readability. The fight against digital decay is our fight. A fight for preservation and accessibility. A fight to keep our digital legacy alive. Only then can we ensure that the chronicles of our time, recorded in the language of ones and zeros, remains a lasting testament to our era. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and share and keep watching our channel for more interesting and informative content, and good luck.